Keep it. Consider it a thank you present. Well done. Swing by the anthill. I've been working on something I think you're going to like. Hey, uh, turns out those hives were uh, small ones. We uncovered something much bigger. Uh, much bigger. We don't actually know how far down it goes. We have to find a way to take it out. Nice work, Avengers. Dr. Cho has something at the anthill for you. We think it'll help as you take down more of Ames' hives. So it looks like what you saw was just a prototype. Monica's hives expanded since then. These will be a little tougher to take out, but I'm sure you can handle it. Found something interesting. Not sure if I know how to make sense of it yet. We need to know more. Jarvis gave me the rundown. The data fragment you found looks familiar. When I was imprisoned, Monica wanted to build these hives, sort of a factory-slash-field testing facility. If you can get me more data, maybe we can find a way to dismantle the operation. This is exactly what I need. Maddie and I will start work on this immediately. Commander Hill thinks S.H.I.E.L.D. may have stored DNA samples from the original, uh, non-clones. If you can find them, it might speed up the process. Great job. Maybe if we stamp enough clones out, AIM will take the hint and stop producing them. Commander Hill filled me in on the MODOK problem. Boy, like the world needed more than one of him. Anyway, we think we've got a lead that might point to another one of his nightmare clones. But we need additional intel to fill in some blanks. Great job, Avengers. Commander Hill has asked me to tell you she'd like a chat. Looks like we're going to see more of AIM's super adaptoid. Using the intel you managed to gather... We've pinpointed the facility that's building AIM's mystery weapons platform. We need you to go there and find out what the hell they're up to. We've heard whispers that AIM is working on some kind of deadly new mobile weapons platform. My sources can't find out more than that, which is why we need your help to chase down crucial intel. Just what I needed. These should let me complete my efforts to keep our people safe. Excuse me, I've got to get the data these parts contain decrypted and inputted into the simulation before the nanite stabilizers deteriorate. You understand. Oh, I heard Dr. Simmons was looking for you. I almost never say this, but I was wrong. Without hardware collected from the actual source, I can't run a valid comparison model to accurately predict the effectiveness of my destabilization device. My theory is solid, but... I'm not going to put civilians in harm's way without a guarantee they won't end up, well, you know. In short, I need data squibs from the Phantom units. It appears AIM's using some sort of temporal phase-shifting tech. If the implications of that weren't so dire, I might actually be impressed. Trouble is, the data you gather doesn't give me the whole picture. I need you to hack directly into AIM's R&D database and pull the robot's schematics themselves. With that, I should have enough info to equip our people with some sort of protection or counter. I've just finished my analysis of the phantom robot footage you recovered. Head back to the lab and we can go over the results. You're back. I'll need some time to analyze this data. I'll be in touch when I've got something. Please try not to break this. It's ridiculously hard to build. Phantom robots? The truth is, we need to gather as much information as possible so I can formulate a way to neutralize this strange new threat. I can outfit you with a multi-spectrum sensor, but I'll need you out there gathering footage up close and personal for me to get the data I need. Once I've got that, I'm pretty sure I can engineer some sort of countermeasure. I'll tell you, ever since one of these warbots nearly destroyed the anthill, these poor kids have lived in constant fear that another one would return to finish the job. Thank you for taking this one out and helping to keep us all safe. For another day, at least. Thank you, Avengers. Taking out this monstrosity has made the world a safer place. Now, I don't expect this will put an end to AIM's cloning program, but we now have a bit of room to breathe and prepare for the next time one of Monica's minions crawls up from the depths. Okay, the Resistance has found the location of a Warbot manufacturing facility. Now, as you know, these machines of war have been deployed by AIM to eradicate inhumans. We have a chance to take out one of these monstrosities. We'll provide you with the location. We just need your muscle to do the job. Are you game? Avengers. The Resistance has located one of AIM's cloning labs. Scientist Supreme's goal is to create an army of our worst enemies. I'm sure you'll agree that we can't let that happen. We need to take down whatever foe she's resurrected, or we'll be faced with a daunting problem. Can I count on you to help? Oh, hey, Nat. 
Since Roy brought up all the power cores needed for the Chimera, I figured he could stay up there and help outfit you all as needed. We can repurpose another aimbot to take his place here at the anthill. Anthill out. Let's get you out of there. Not that we can tell. Theo reports they were all kept in those containment cells. He'll try to get more information, but doesn't want to push. Just keep heading down this hallway. Aim will be waiting. Expect a fight. We'll follow your lead. You set yourself up for that, Tony. How long has this been going on? Everything's in place. Theo's on standby. All you have to worry about is getting those holding cells open. Biological research labs. They avoid calling them prison cells. Bad for their image. Sarah, you're up. Seems excessive, but I wouldn't put it past aim. Sarah, can you get into their comms? We'll do what we can to provide support from here. Hank Pym reporting in. Nice work. Everyone's safe at the anthill thanks to you. We're making progress, but we'll keep looking until we've rescued every last inhuman Ames holding. You have to get all the inhumans out safely. We can take it from there. All right, Avengers. We got word from our scouts of an attempted breakout at one of Ames' prisons. Those inhumans need our help. Let's go get our people. He really is. I see the gears turning in your head already, Sarah. As she said, you have our thanks. Hopefully AIM thinks twice about deploying one of those dreadbots so close to our territory. Sarah, did you get what you needed? Better get in there, Avengers. We need to analyze that dreadbot. That dreadbot's got a lot of help. The dreadbot is inside AIM's construction site. Sarah's working off incomplete shield intel on these dreadbots. You've faced them before, so hopefully she can concoct something to help the resistance deal with them too. Just concentrate on any enemy units. Clear out the area and we'll move to our primary target. Yeah, I know. You can never be too careful. Looks like AIM's on the alert now. We need to blow through those defenses before they realize we're after the Dreadbot. Okay, stage two. We need to fight through the outpost's perimeter defenses. Good work, Cap. A lot of folks in the Ant Hill will be happy to hear this squad's been taken out. We need that team gone, Avengers. Sometimes I worry that my time in captivity with AIM gave them more than they needed to take down the resistance. Mm, just thinking out loud. AIM's building this outpost so close to our territory concerns me that classified information is getting out. Probably a good idea. This particular squad has put a lot of our people in the infirmary. First things first, we've got an elite squad of AIM agents guarding the outskirts of this new outpost. AIM's starting to put out more of these dreadbots in the field. Enough to make me uncomfortable, but that's not all. I've got Sarah Garza here to fill you in. Avengers, it's Pym. AIM's trying to establish another outpost close to Resistance territory. You said it, Commander. Thanks again, everyone. We've done everything we can here. I'm telling my people to head back. For real this time. Target the side vents. They're overheating. It's waking up. The mech's coming back online. Target the eye while it's repairing. AIM knows how to build them tough, that's for sure. Hasn't this thing got an off switch that doesn't involve an incredible amount of violence? Monica's backup plan. Literally. A huge tank that happens to have an epic amount of storage. Does that matter? Thanks to Jarvis, they can't send the research anywhere. Thanks for helping save my people. Enemy down. AIM bad guy down. Maybe they know what we're targeting next. That would explain the escalation. Worse than the other two? Each of those Inhumans has friends and families who would want me to thank you. Nicely done. Theo, cell's open. The force field's down. Theo, you're up. That exposed the cage locks. Go disable them. Good. Take out the locks now that they're exposed. You can smash the cage locks open now. That exposed a cage's energy locks. Take them out. The control room houses the panels you need to access. Watch your footing. Looks like that shield bombardment damaged pipes full of toxic material. Theo, one of my teleporters, will transport each inhuman out once their cage has been opened. They're done. Enemy neutralized. Aim bad guy down. Hell yeah. There's the assassination team. Don't let your guard down. Not a problem if they are, Commander. I've got a trick up my sleeve. I wish I could let those inhumans know help is on the way. Pim here. Please free them, Avengers. Once you've taken care of them, AIM can kiss that project data goodbye. AIM's down a lot of research and one giant scary robot thanks to you. Will do. Yes! So much for Monica's cunning plan B. All that precious research down the digital drain. Its side vents are overheating. Go for those. I think it's coming online again. The mech's coming back online. It's repairing. Target the eye. Careful. We're still not sure what that thing's capable of. Monica's plan B. So? They couldn't send the research anywhere. Jarvis made sure of that. I'm making preparations to pull my people back. Feels like we've done what we set out to do. Thank you, Avengers.
Commander. Yes! You took out the last one. Nice. Just one breaker left. The second breaker's offline. That's one down. Keep going. That reactor is basically the facility's beating heart. Destroying the four breaker junctions will take the whole reactor offline, and crucially, the local network. What the hell just happened? You got them. You got one. We were bound to get our attention. This place is clearly important. Awesome. A lot of inhuman families and friends will sleep easier tonight thanks to you. The cage locks are exposed. Go disable them. That did it. The cage is unlocked, but needs to be opened from the outside. That unlocked the cage. Go open it up. You expose the cage's energy locks. Destroy them. We're on. Theo, get ready. Looks like you're going to have to deactivate each of the cage's force fields before you can crack them open. Theo will then teleport them out. They're done. Bye-bye. Aim enemy down. Nice work, Avengers. Damn it! It looks like you've been targeted by another elite squad. Do you think these AIM operatives think they're on the right side of history? Relieved? That's the understatement of the year. The Resistance has friends in some unlikely places, Commander. Updating your HUD with their location. And thank you. Excellent. That's one server out of commission. Keep going. The sooner we can get to those servers, the sooner we can destroy that data. My on-site teams are holding their own, for now. It should be your current priority. Though I know this place is pretty distracting. Those servers must be well insulated. These AIM servers hold thousands of terabytes of vital project data. And thanks to Jarvis, they can't upload it to a remote site. Damn it, no! Bad guy down. Bam. Nice. You got one. Nice work. Okay, I'm marking that server farm on your HUD. Destroying their inhuman DNA research will really piss off Rappuccini. They found you. Or you found them. Be careful. Shield's bombing run didn't do Mother Nature any favors. You're doing something right if AIM feels the need to take you on directly. I'm sure we'll meet them soon enough. I hoped it would take longer for AIM to target you. Good thinking. Otherwise, you'll have to watch your backs for the rest of the mission. Even after the bombardment, AIM still has a lot of forces on site. I wish we knew how many of these facilities Monica has hidden around the world. AIM must have some top-of-the-line stealth tech if they're able to keep this place off the grid. Best way into the facilities through the main entrance. Rescue them if you can, Captain Rogers. We have, Captain Rogers. We'd really appreciate it if the Avengers could help us take it down. AIM's complete disregard for the consequences of its insane inventions is part of the reason I ignored them when Tarleton was first trying to build the company. I figured that much neglect couldn't lead anywhere. I was wrong. Thank you for helping us stop their havoc. All right, looks like most of the tunnels below are intact. But we may need Gaff's help, after all, to figure out how to best prevent something like this from happening again. There it is. Force fields down, just as Gaff said it would be. Take it out. That dreadbot could do a lot of damage all on its own. Sedimentary rock bed notwithstanding. You need to hurry. It's strange, working with S.H.I.E.L.D. like this again after so long. I knew Gaff when he was a rookie agent, taking weaponry apart and forgetting how to put it back together. Gaff is a funny one. Fury was very excited when S.H.I.E.L.D. hired him. No, Agent Gaff. That'll be all. Head for the Dreadbot. We don't want AIM trying to repeat this little experiment. I'll send in some resistance agents to assess the damage to the tunnels. We may need to reinforce them. Those are the generators? She got them. I just... She's a little scary in the morning. Or basically any time she wakes up when she doesn't want to. Sorry for waking you up so late. Gaff, you still with us? I guess you all are headed for the generators. So why can't they just head for the Dreadbot? We covered that. AIM has no idea the extent of the tunnel system the Resistance has throughout this desert. They're probably aware their force field is doing damage, but they think it's all rock down there. Covered by a force field that's degrading the sedimentary rock layers below it. The longer AIM keeps that thing contained, the more damage it's going to do to the tunnels below its metal feet. Avengers, can you help us? Sarah Gars is the devil when she's woken up in the middle of the night, so I asked Agent Gaff to help us with our problem. Uh, Agent Gaff, you with us? Are you kidding? Thank you. Hank Pym here. Agent Morales updated me. I'm sending Theo to help with the extraction. His teleportation powers will, no doubt, prove useful. Hey, glad to be of help. Keep them busy. We don't want them to come looking for us. Have you spotted them yet? It's closer to you than it is to us. We need some time to get everyone aboard the Quinjet. I think we found what set the forest on fire. Um... No, this is the last of them. You're clear. You don't have to tell me twice. The Inhumans are safe for now. You've done a good job keeping the watchdogs busy, so thanks for that. They've set up some kind of blockade on the road. If you hurry, you can ambush the watchdogs before they get to you. Watchdogs aren't happy. Reinforcements headed your way. 
There are a couple of old shield bunkers in the area. Might have some supplies we can use. For the moment, watchdogs are on the move. I've told my people to lay low for now. Got it. Be careful in there. Looks like AIM gifted their friends some new toys. Sounds like gunfire in the forest. The Inhumans are holed up in an old bunker, but watchdogs are closing in. We sent some scouts up ahead. They should be back soon. We don't want to leave those people stranded out there. Please hurry. AIM has a couple caches around here. The Inhumans could have been spotted on their way through. Hard to tell. My people spotted a couple being taken into custody, but we suspect there are more. Working on it now. They've spotted watchdogs in the area rounding up Inhumans. I know it's not what we came here for, but the blueprints can wait. Some of my people are waiting at the rendezvous point, but there's been a new development. We've been hearing whispers about an experimental dreadbot. My team just found the facility where they're being made. It's still early in the process, so we think you can intercept the plans before these things go into production. <laughs> Freeing my people would have been enough, but getting those cutting-edge aim weapons was the icing on the cake. Great work. You junked one. We got one. No! Aim just one! Even with our new weapons, those adaptoids are a handful. Those adaptoids won't be a pushover, but we'll help you take them out. I still can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> Well, you are. We're with you all the way, Cap. Well, the sooner we get to the top of that tower and take apart whatever tech Ames got up there, the better. Commander, let me know if any of your teams need assistance. Thank you, Commander. Appreciate it. Agreed. But some people will know the truth. That makes this all worth it. Nice work. You got one. Those new weapons are really making a difference. That bridge looks tricky. Watch your six. There are a lot of AIM forces on that bridge. You got it open. Nice. Looks like AIM has a storage facility in the area. Might be worth checking out. That was aim all the way, Cap. Honest. Excellent question. Good thing we've commandeered some new weapons. <laughs> I love it when we take the fight to aim. One less resistance member in jail. Nice work, Avengers. Another resistance member's out. Great job. They're free. Excellent. Now, just disable each cell's power source to open them up. Even with the Avengers here, are we sure we can handle this many aim units? My people are going to be so relieved to see the cavalry riding in to save them. If we can even just slow down AIM's latest adaptoid line, I'll sleep more soundly tonight. Once we free the Resistance members, they'll help us take down AIM's lab. Thanks. AIM having Inhumans on display like that is just wrong. I bet they plan to release them at some point and use their new adaptoid models to save the city. These weapons are amazing, Cap. They're really going to make a difference out there. Hell yeah. With these weapons, we can finally fight AIM on a more even footing. My people will take what they need. Theo's already delivering hardware so our street teams are armed ASAP. Every weapon we get helps the resistance, Cap. Nice work. Is it my birthday? Kind of feels like my birthday when you say things like that. Uh, Theo insists on helping you out, and there's literally no way I could stop him. I don't believe it. We're through. Damn it. No. You're right, Cap. AIM can't stop us. Yeah, let's keep it that way. The world needs to wake up and see AIM's not working for them. It just wants more power. Surprisingly well. Though some new weapons will really help make them even more effective. Crazy to think AIM can store deadly weapons tech close to normal neighborhoods. I've already got a team engaged with AIM forces on site. No! How can this be happening? Damn. Resistance member down. They took out another resistance member. Damn it! AIM got one of my people. Stop killing my people, AIM! We lost someone. I can't believe we're fighting in the streets. Where are the cameras when you need them? There's my team. We're just in time. Ah, uh, of course. We're lucky to have her on our side. There's no record of AIM having a weapons cache in the area. How did you find out about it? Thanks, Jarvis. We've been training hard. Think what we could do with better weapons. The Resistance is in real need of more weapons, so hitting the AIM cache is just what the doctor ordered. Whoever runs their PR department is an evil genius. If we expose the truth, it'll be dismissed as fake news by some folks. AIM's starting to get the upper hand, Cap. A Resistance unit is fighting for its life near your location. Updating your HUD. I've got teams on the ground, but AIM's come out fighting. There are pitched battles on the streets. That sounds pretty awesome. I'll send my reserve teams into the area to back you up. I wish I could help, but I'm short-handed. Some of my best people were recently captured by AIM. Nice work, Avengers. That didn't look easy at all. Looks like you're almost done. Watching these units fight is giving me all sorts of awesome ideas. They don't go down easy, do they? There they are. My crazy plan might just work. This'll all be worth it, trust me. They're close, 
Be careful, Avengers. Agreed. Stand by, Avengers. I'm picking up some interesting phase readings. Nothing solid yet. Can we get the destruction ball rolling? Avengers? Good work. Head inside to take out that server. There's the bunker. Looks lightly defended. Access it and take the elevator down to the server room. Much as I hate to admit it, AIM's decades ahead of everyone else. So we're going to cheat a little. Not that the good guys cheat, per se. We improvise. Always good to see the Avengers in action, doing what you do best. That's it. That's all of them. Well done, Avengers. Well done. Bring them home. Now's your chance. Get inside. The rest of the team is inside that building. Don't let anyone stop you. Keep an eye out for that facility. The facility is close by. Please hurry. You need to go after them. There they are. Get them out of there. They need your help. AIM has found them. Hurry. I'm getting a distress call on a secure line. My team needs help. They're distracted. Jarvis, get into the drone's drives. AIM's already here. You need to get to that drone before they destroy it. You need to beat AIM to that drone. Get to that downed drone. It won't take AIM long to realize we're snooping around out here. Sending you the coordinates to the downed drone now. I've lost contact with one of my rescue teams en route to an inhuman holding facility. I need you to investigate their last known location. Not yet. Damn it. AIM has been spotted near the anthill. We need that particle sample ASAP. Thanks, guys. I owe you one. It's sort of cute when they're small. Come on, Tony, live a little. I don't think so. I know you won't listen, but I'll say it anyway. Be careful. Thanks for your help out there. I'll have the pin particles you need transported to the Chimera. Nope, it's fine. Everything's fine here. How are you? Okay, okay, I think I got it. Ow! Had to remove them to make it portable. I've installed the accelerator. Just trying to control the heat output. Just keep it busy. I'll join you when I can. Avengers, get out there and buy us some time. He should be there. The Ed Hill can't hold out much longer. Not enough time to get everyone clear. Please hurry before they reach us. Okay, I'm sending Theo, one of my operatives, through to your location. He'll teleport you and the particle sample back to the Ant Hill. Hold on. I think I have a way to get you back. Damn it! Avengers, we have a problem. It looks like AIM has traced my hack of their systems. I'm getting reports of alerts on the Ant Hill perimeter. I need you to find that particle sample and get back here ASAP. Okay, I'm in. Train's ready for you, but the whole place is on alert now. Running into some serious firewalls here. I need more time. Oh, crap. That's not good. There's the hypercircuit station. It's protected by a force field. Destroy the field's power source, and I'll hack into their system to call a train. The hypercircuit station I'll be accessing will be well protected. You know I can still hear you, right? Uploading the coordinates to the hypercircuit station entrance? No time to lose. <sighs> well, then you'll need to break into a high-security aim facility. Ever heard of Meridian? Please tell me this is a social call. I, I can hack the trains, but it'll leave the anthill exposed. AIM will be able to pinpoint our location. You'll need to hurry. AIM confiscated all my research when I was captured. They haven't figured out how to use the particles, but they'll be well protected. The Resistance thanks you, and I thank you. You saved a lot of people today. But it looks like AIM's using Inhumans as lab rats at a rate we hadn't imagined. We need to find all of them and shut this sick project down for good. And Jarvis grabbed me the data I was looking for within AIM systems. I've got a little research project going that couldn't be completed without it, so thanks for that, too. The Inhumans are safe because of you. That's all of them. You went above and beyond today, Avengers. Excellent. Now target the cell's generators. Great work. You expose that cell's generators. The cell's force field is off, Theo. That powered down the force field. Theo, access the cell. Theo? You're up. I don't even want to think about what Monica planned to do with these people. Access each individual cell's force field generators using the control room computer. Then destroy them when they're exposed. Theo, as soon as a prisoner is free, teleport them out. Agreed. Avengers, I'll tell you how when you reach the cells. I know you're Avengers, but I'm still amazed you just fought your way into a high-security AIM facility. That's it, we're in. Theo's instincts are generally on the money, but he shows zero restraint. Reminds me of Clint. You're a godsend, Jarvis. Let's get in there. Those Inhumans need us. Feels good to take the fight to aim like this. Theo, scout ahead while the Avengers find a way in. Theo, how soon until those Inhuman prisoners are moved? My people. All dead. I found them. They got one of ours. We lost one. And nothing but the best. Theo. Is your team able to fight? Theo and his team are exhausted. They can't last much longer. I told you it's on its way. Please hurry. Theo and his team won't survive without you. Hang tight. Help is on the way. Theo, what the hell happened? Wish I had the guts to raid AIM like that. We read you, Theo. 
Sending assistance now, hold on. This can't be happening. Avengers don't lose. Well, Monica understands the language of destruction. We have to teach AIM they aren't invulnerable. Damn it. There's no sign of Theo and the others. Take out the station. That should also free up the airwaves, so we're killing two birds with one stone. There it is. A vital link in AIM's transport chain. Turns out the inhuman DNA the Avengers helped us secure was somehow rendered inert by AIM. If the Resistance can't use it, we'll just destroy any shipments we find. I told Theo to stick to the plan and take zero chances, but it's kind of like saying that to Tony. The station's not far. Keep an eye out for my people. Looks like AIM's got patrols scouting the area. The Resistance doesn't use fancy Avenger radio tech. And that's all the more reason to take the station out. Big time. The team went dark before completing their mission. I desperately need that station gone and my people found. Please. I sent a resistance team to sabotage a key AIM hypercircuit station. They're transporting inhuman DNA samples like the ones we captured recently. My team's leader, Theo, is an inhuman teleporter. He's smart, but impulsive. I'm worried he'd let his people into a trap. Destroying that station hits AIM where they live. If they lose that much in human DNA, it throws a major wrench into Monica's precious experiments. I recently sent a resistance team to sabotage a hypercircuit station AIM's constructing, but lost touch with them. I'd like you to recon the area, see if you can locate my team. They're led by an inhuman teleporter, Theo. This is his first command. Okay, head back to the anthill and we'll talk about next steps. Agreed, Kamala, but we need some time to regroup. When Tony gets here with the Chimera... We'll be in a much better position to go on the offensive. Well, that didn't go quite according to plan. We've got some valuable research samples, but AIM is far more powerful than I had anticipated. It's okay, Kamala. Hopefully, with these captured research samples, we can get a clearer picture of how AIM is using in humans. And we've lost the element of surprise. Damn! Did we know where those samples were being sent, Jarvis? No! Excellent work, everyone. Head back here and we'll begin digging through those AIM research samples. Jarvis, tell me you got it. We've got to divert that transport. Please hurry. We can't let that transport get away. Hurry, that thing's about to take off. Excellent idea. See if you can reprogram its destination to the anthill. Whatever's on that transport, I want it captured. Get to it before it leaves. Please work fast, Jarvis. You sure this is the right place? That's worrying. Look at this place. God knows what Tarleton did to Inhumans in the name of his twisted progress. AIM knows we're here now, so be ready for trouble. The odds finally seem to be tipping in our favor. This place does not look like they welcome visitors. Watch your back. According to Tarleton, anyone with powers is a threat. They made sure I'll never use mine again. Altered my physiology so if I change size, I'll die. You'll need to take out the security node. All clear, keep moving. That did it, let's get in there. Good job. If you destroy the two Transformers on the upper level... The elevator door should open. Breaking into an AIM facility is really going to stir up the hornet's nest. Jarvis, any idea what we're dealing with in there? Research labs usually hold them in specific containment units. They like to have them nearby while they're running their tests. Don't ask why. Not intentionally. At least not in the beginning. A lot of us were captured by AIM early on. After we realized nobody was coming for us, we broke out and started making our own plans. AIM keeps their data well guarded. We haven't been able to get anything solid. We just have the word of the Inhumans. And I'm afraid that's not enough. Whatever's in there is yours now. Careful. Might be a trap. Thank you for doing this. <laughs> Spoken like another Avenger I once knew. Well, they have a lot of power in Washington and financial connections to every major corporation. Amos had five years to set down their roots. Taking them down... is not going to be easy. AIM has been setting up bases in small towns throughout the rural West. We suspect they've been using these as testing labs and capturing the local inhuman populace for their experiments. Olympia Archive? Impressive. We wondered who was responsible for taking that place down. Okay, now that we've got some muscle on our side, I think we should hit one of AIM's testing labs. We know they've been experimenting on inhumans in small rural communities. I'd like to get my hands on whatever research they've been collecting. Thanks. I've already uploaded some mission details to your war table. Pam out. Guilty as charged. We did a little digging in the data you sent me from the prison. AIM was able to successfully transport most of the Inhumans. I've tracked the ship, but we'll need someone to go in after it. True. 
And how the hell did you folks get the Chimera online, let alone airborne, without Terrigen? Greetings from the anthill. Natasha, thanks for helping save the day back at Ames Prison, and for everything you did as Tiny Dancer. I wondered who our mysterious guardian angel was. Keep an eye out for AIM patrols. They won't take kindly to your presence. With any luck, we'll be able to capture intel that could shed some light on what they've been doing to your people. Welcome to Venture Ridge, Wyoming. This was one of AIM's go-to holding sites for Inhumans before the prison was built. After they moved in, most of the residents were evacuated. You think you're clever, don't you, Tony? The Inhumans are on their way to the anthill now. Thank you for helping us out back there. You're not, you're not doing so well, are you, Clint? How do you figure? You never ask for help. From anyone, really. Fair enough. I analyzed the SIM card you recovered. It was a lot to take in. Good news? Please give me some good news, Doc. Does cosmic energy ring a bell at all? <laughs> Aim's messing with cosmic energy. <laughs> you don't even know what that is, do you? I mean, you know, it's it's energy that's cosmic. So, no, no, I, I don't. It has the power to change reality. While tachyon alters time, cosmic energy alters everything. Not surprising one led to the other. Speaking of tachyon... We detected an active time bridge transmission originating somewhere in the distant future. Yeah, I uh, saw that in that vision I told you about. If everything you saw is true, the end of the world is far closer than we'd like. Okay, we need a plan. We, we need fury. Can we use your time bridge to reach the future? Not safely. I'd rather not expose you to more tachyon if I could help it. But I could modify the Quinjet to carry a team through. So, we grab Hawkeye and finally destroy her bridge in that whole damn facility. If we can do that before she brings that weapon through, we stop her from tearing the fabric of space and time apart. An old shield cipher, no less. Really old. From before digital records. We had to get Dugan to find the encryption key and give the lady a prize. Around 3 a.m. last night, Monica's time bridge had a little malfunction. It connected briefly with the future and began to give off tachyon pulses in rapid succession before shutting down. Welcome back, time travelers. What's the best news you could hope for this fine day? All right, then. I've got work to do, and so do you. Now, with the plans you borrowed from Monica, I should be able to build a working facsimile of her time bridge. But the energy required... <sighs> we need to find a power source, and right now this signal is our best lead. Ah, Dugan got your tracker up and running on that mysterious shield frequency, did he? The only thing we know for certain is that the signal is coming from some sort of storage cache, not on any of the official registers. Stinks of fury, to be honest. Damn it. It's incredibly risky. But I do still have my prototype. We might be able to use it to bring him back. But I'd need my original plans to get it working again. Going to have to steal the plans for the time bridge first. I've identified an AIM archive with a suspicious amount of network traffic with Monica's private facility. If we're going to find schematics for her time bridge, that's our best shot. I don't think you understand the stakes here, Kate. Those tachyon pulses? They're shredding the fabric of reality. If Monica brings back a weapon capable of changing the future events, it will create a paradox and completely destroy our timeline. At most, we have two weeks before that happens. Monica's trying to send herself a weapon. From the future, you don't understand what's going on here. More worrying. Each of her visits corresponds with an enormous pulse of exotic particle radiation. Tachyons. Whatever she's doing there could have catastrophic consequences. We tapped into the AIM satellite network and discovered Monica has been visiting this facility again and again. Kate believes that Clint was taken by AIM as well, but I haven't intercepted any intel about his capture. Okay, looks like we're all here. I believe some of you have already met Kate Bishop. She's one of Hawkeye's former students. You ran into her at the Cronus Robotics Factory. Dear Hope, I hope you find this actual written letter quaint because... It's all I've got at the moment. Maybe I'll even find a way to send it. I love you, and I miss you terribly, but let me be brief and try and catch you up. I'm currently on the run from an extranational corporation with a standing army and zero regard for human rights, following an extended illegal imprisonment. Again, you were right. 
With me are dozens of terrified civilians, all of whom have been the victims of horrendous abuse, and currently I'm responsible for all their safety since it was me who persuaded them to organize our escape. We are tired, exhausted, starving, and currently have minimal shelter and supplies. And I haven't been this happy in a decade. I'm doing my very best to be very serious and stoic so they don't think I've lost my mind. But for the first time since I wore the suit, I'm in the right place at the right time. I'm a hero again. <sighs> You'd be proud of your old man. I love you so much, kiddo. I know you shut my internal access down to your division's research. How long do you think you can hide this? I may not have a full picture of whatever unforgivable moral lapse you've indulged in, but I know enough to end your career, at the very least. They're people, Dr. Forsen. You violated every oath you ever took, and you have no right to do what you've done to them. I can't imagine the scale and the scope of the fraud that it took to keep this hidden. I guess I'd be impressed if it wasn't in pursuit of unforgivably unethical human testing, the scale of which would have made Mengele jealous. I gave you an opportunity to turn yourself in, but you chose to try and lock me out, so now it seems I have to do it for you, because you can't be allowed to continue like this. I can't even imagine how furious Monica will be when she sees what you've done. Right under her nose. You're done. Hope. It, it was unforgivable for me to snap at you like that. I am embarrassed, and I owe you an explanation. First, I hear your concerns about AIM and tying the fate of PIM technology so close to them. I listen to you, and I agree, because I've had those same concerns myself. I wasn't mad at you. I was... Scared. After being sidelined by Stark for so long, I'm finally feeling like I'm able to do some good in the world. I, I was never fully honest with you. I, I told you that it was no longer healthy for me to use the suit. But it's worse. I did damage to my nerve tissue in the early days of experimentation, and now it's had a cumulative effect. One more time, and it would almost certainly kill me, or worse. I can't tell you how impossibly hard it is to give up the thing that defines you. But in these last few weeks, it's the closest I've felt to being a hero again. I just can't lose that. But, but, that's no excuse for being a jerk. I'm, I'm sorry. I love you. I don't appreciate Stark Industries setting roots in my own backyard without so much of a courtesy call. Tony loves to play this all off like the natural growth of the Avengers, but this whole thing reeks of his ego, just like the inside of his tin tux. I know you're working closely with him, and I don't want to sour your working relationship, but sometimes you'll find you just need to outmaneuver him or else he's always going to construct a scenario where he's the hero on center stage. PIM Technologies has been in the region doing similar work on clean energy generation, but he never even bothered to talk to us because it's all about him, not about the science. And the public will eat it up. Anyway, I'm ranting. I'm glad you reached out, Monica. You could use someone who knows Tony and what he's capable of in your corner. I just want to make sure he doesn't take advantage of you. He's, uh, he's good at that. Hank Pym, Pym Technologies. It's more pressure than adoration. They think we're at war. I wouldn't call it in charge. The resistance takes a village. Of course, because your alter ego doesn't talk. Much. Ah, right. Well, should you run into anyone else... I thought we'd left enough breadcrumbs to be found by anyone who thought to look. Yes. I think many of us understand how he feels. So, same old then. How's Tony these days? 
I understand. I'll word it the right way. But she may not want to come back. No, he's still missing. She's been looking for him for some time. Occasionally she helps me out when we're in need. Interestingly, I've been in contact with Miss Bishop. Well, I wasn't going to say it, but yes, you did. Not a word. Like the others, he went off the grid when AIM really started taking over. I'm satisfied knowing you're back in the fight. Well, that does sound promising. <laughs> Just like the old days, right? Never could get much information out of you about your time with the Avengers. So what are your plans after you get the Chimera off the ground? We could really use your help here. It was just a feeling, Bruce. None of us could have predicted that things would go the way they did. Yes, before A-Day. Monica was always interested in my research, but I never trusted her. Not exactly, but I helped it become something a bit more organized. Well, I'm being a bit selfish. A fully operational Avengers is just what the Resistance needs. Yes, we have friends there trying to get it airborne. I need to get an AIM power core out to the Chimera decommission site ASAP. Requisitions, this is Pym. He's right. It should be an easy enough modification for him. We have several. So I assume Stark sent you on this errand? Stands to reason he's back on the Chimera trying to get it running. Fascinating. I mean, yes, that's unfortunate. Interesting. Were you... Stuck again? <laughs> so you two are talking again, eh? You mentioned we. Just you and Kamala? Yep. Needed to be able to talk to the answer on here to make the tunnels. Don't get him started. Think he's got a bit of a crush. Roy is a rudimentary networked AI. Controls all the robots in the anthill. You talk to one of them, you talk to them all. I'd say you'll need it, but I've seen you pull off some amazing stunts in my time. So I'll just go with safe flight. Pim out. Right. The parts I promised. I used my particle prototype and managed to miniaturize the Star Boost Accelerator module. I sent it along with one of my people. Stark. I don't know how to thank you for saving my people from that AIM monstrosity. <sighs> we have scavenged every part of this desert by now. It's not gonna be enough. <sighs> what? I, I, I know what that feels like. These powers are a part of us. And all I do know, it's a lot better if you just embrace that. Or something like that. You know, he's a smart guy. <laughs> you should head back to the Chimera. Okay. Come on, man. Old guy. Do H Hank Pym? It's marvelous. Well... Wow.